So the Packers Bills game just ended. The Bills happened to beat us 27 to 17. The Bills pull out the victory against Packers in Buffalo. But honestly, considering the the matchup, considering the Bills are one of the best teams in the NFL, considering the Packers had lost three straight, I thought there were actually lots of positives to take away from this game for the Packers. But regardless, we still lost. We have now lost four in a row, and we are now sitting at three and five. So it's still not the best of um, times for the Packers right now to be a Packers fan. This being my fourth straight losing video, which is never fun. We have tied the amount of losses we had last year already, and the Packers have consistently been beat in the past few weeks. But as I said, there are some positives to take away from this, considering the Bills are one of the best teams in the NFL. First off, one of the biggest topics of conversation these past few weeks when it comes to this Packers offense, when it comes to, okay, what should the Packers be doing to try to move the ball when we've had some struggles with receivers, we've, have, we've had some struggles in the passing game, and the big conversation is how much can we get Aaron Jones the ball. If we take a look at tonight's game, Aaron Jones had one of the best days he's had in a very long time. 20 carries, 143 yards, averaging 7.2 yards per carry, and then he had four receptions for 14 yards. He was targeted five different times by Aaron Rodgers. So considering the Bills had the best, if not one of the best, defenses or running defenses in the NFL, the Packers were able to consistently move the ball on the ground, which worked a lot of the game. Um, but of course, with the Packers' inability for a lot of this game to pass the ball, it led to us being behind too late. We almost came back in the end there. A nice touchdown by Samori Torre almost brought us back within reach. The um, offense was like looking pretty good, honestly, near there at the end a little bit. So it's great to see the Packers' offense at least get things going. Clearly, 17 points isn't enough when you're facing off against Josh Allen and one of the best offenses in football right now. If we take a look at the Bills' offense from this game, Josh Allen, 13 of 25, 218 yards, two TDs, two interceptions, a 75.1 passer rating. You compare that to Aaron Rodgers, 91.4 passer rating. Josh Allen, honestly, not one of his best days. Two picks, both by Jair Alexander, who had a pretty solid day when it came to interceptions, at least. But the one area where the Packers were consistently beat on defense was the running game. So Devin Singletary, 14 carries, 67 yards, 4.8 yards per carry. Overall, the Bills had 27 carries, 153 yards, averaging 5.7 yards per carry. The first half, the defense played a lot worse. The Bills put up 24 points in the first half. However, in the second half, the Packers held them to only three points. So a very, very solid performance in the second half by this Packers defense. And when you add in the fact that Quay Walker, of course, goes out the first half, first quarter maybe, I can't remember, first or second quarter, because he sort of shoved the Bills. I don't know if that was a player or a coach on the sideline. They called a, per, a penalty on that. He, of course, gets ejected. And then Devondre Campbell, the Packers' second middle linebacker, goes down with an injury. So then you have, I think it was Isaiah McDuffie and uh, was it Eric Wilson, I believe, in there as well. So the fact that the Packers lose their two middle linebackers and still were able to hold the Bills' offense to only three points, great job overall by the Packers' defense in the second half. And as I said, obviously we never want to see the Packers lose, but I think we saw lots of positives in this game, lots of things to build on. Especially when you look at the offense, offensive side of the ball, Aaron Jones and this Packers running game really was the foundation for the Packers offense today. Clearly, we want to try to get more points in 17 because when we face off against some of these great offenses, it's not going to get the job done. But we take a look at guys like Romeo Dobbs. That beautiful touchdown catch was nice. Four receptions, 62 yards. Samori Torre had that nice touchdown, one reception, 37 yards. And... Obviously, too, a, a big thing was Christian Watson goes down in the first quarter. Maybe even his first play, first or second play, he has like a 15, 20-yard gain. He goes down with a concussion. So right off the bat, the Packers were lacking even more in the wide receiver area when we were already without, um, let's see, Al Lazard and Randall Cobb both in this game. And then to lose Christian Watson, it's like, man, how many receivers can the Packers lose? So still overall, sad day. We lost again. Let's hope next week we can beat, we can beat the Lions because right now in the NFC North, we're tied with the Bears and we're, what, two games behind, three games behind the, um, I think two games, the Vikings. So we'll see if the Packers can bounce back. Um, I want to get rid of this losing feeling, but this one honestly didn't feel quite as bad. Maybe I'm just getting used to this, which is not not where I want to be. I don't want to be getting used to these losses, but um, yeah. So that's pretty much my overall thoughts. I'll be out with more thoughts tomorrow. 
as I think more on this game. But thank you for watching. Go Pack Go, baby. Let's hope we can um, get back on track. Start off with one win. Maybe make that two, three, four, and see if we can become what we used to be. A more, a more dominant team overall. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.